How's it going boys? We're back with another episode of our NHL 18 franchise mode with the Detroit Red Wings and we're going to get right into the season simulation. I'm going to go up to the trade deadline just because we do have four or five million in cap room. So if we need to get a rental player, get a really good solid player and just bolster our um, playoff push then. Done. So starting out the season, we are 4-0. Okay, that's really good. Can we make it 5-0? Yes, we can. Okay, okay. Our AHL affiliate isn't doing that good, but the big club is 6-0. 7-0. Okay, let's keep this up. 8-0. Thank you. Nice. 9-0. Can we go 10-0, please? Please. Yes, 10-0. Oh, my goodness. Well, then, okay. Okay, we lose to Florida. I'm fine with that. We got a lot of wins. The offense was doing good. Goalies were keeping them to one or two goals a game. And as long as the goalies keep them to under two goals a game or two goals a game, when I'm sure our offense can score more goals. There we go. Another loss to Ottawa. That's okay. Uh, no, loss. Okay, okay. Now we're losing three in a row. That's not good. Let's pick it up against Calgary, please. Thank you. Get the stick throw going. Now we're doing much better. Uh, against Columbus, another loss. Okay, we started out really well, but we haven't been doing good too lately. Nice, a shutout. Thank you very much. And another loss. Okay, now we're not looking even that good. 13-6-0 does not. 13-7-0. Okay, something's going on. That's not good. I mean, it is. Don't, don't get me wrong. This is still a phenomenal record, but I'd like to at least have a 3-1 to one wins to losses ratio. Another loss against the Kings. Can we beat the Habs? No, we lose to the Habs. Oh my gosh. And they're doing terrible. Okay, there's another win. Can we at least make it 2-1? to one? Wow. There's going to have to be some something done at the deadline. I'm not sure what, but it's going to have to be big. Uh, let's keep it going here. Against Chicago now, they're about 500. There's a nice win. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Can we keep this 500, please? Against Winnipeg now. Nice. Another shutout. Beautiful. Against Florida, there we go. Two goals allowed in the last three games. Another one goal game. Thank you. Now we're picking it up again. Against Toronto, okay, we lose. That's fine. That'll, that'll happen. You have an off game every once in a while. What are you going to do? Um, against New York, nice. Back-to-back -back wins against New York and Philly. Against Boston now. We're heating up once again. Another win. Only one loss this month. I hope I didn't just jinx it. Yep, you bet I did. Uh, lost against the Devils, but we beat the Rangers, so it's getting back there. Another shutout, thank you. Um, against Ottawa, another shutout, beautiful. Can we keep a shutout against Florida? Man, Florida's our kryptonite this year. We cannot beat them. They're just doing so well. But three shutouts in four games, I will take that. Uh, Vassal is kind of just keeping us alive right now. Uh, okay, we get shut out, or we get shut out there, but still, only the goalies are only allowing one or two goals a game. Offense, come on, we've got to, ah, ah, and I jinx it, of course, of course, whatever, offense, I need you, now the offense is coming alive a little bit, nine goals in two games, shutout loss, or shootout loss, sorry, can't, not, nothing too bad with that, uh, we are 33 and 16, which is looking good, I was hoping for a 3 to 1, but if we can go on a tear in the last month of the season, get hot before the playoffs, That'll be much more important than just, you know, streaking at the beginning of the season and not doing too well. As long as we make the playoffs, because there was that one time I think the Habs started 10-0. And and then uh, it just went downhill from there. They just, uh, I don't even want to talk about it. We missed the playoffs. How can you do that after starting 10-0? and It's crazy. It's crazy. But now against Carolina, nice. We take another win. OT win against the Rangers. Can we finish off with a win against Winnipeg? Come on. Please, please, please. Before the trade deadline. Okay, beautiful. And we do get a victory against Winnipeg. So let's quickly check out how the team is doing in the standings. Okay, Mantha's leading. That's interesting. That's different. Yeah, I don't think he really leads our team often in points. It's usually Valene or Clements, but okay, that's interesting. So we are not second. Wow, the Canucks, 42 and 16. They're doing really, really well. Uh, goals four per game. Uh, we're not even up there. We could use some more goals, that's for sure. Goals against per game. Okay, yeah, we're number one in goals against. Two. So we just need to score more goals. The goalies are getting it done. It's not, The players aren't. Uh, we're at 18.1% for the power play. We're really not that good. 
Uh, we can improve that. And PK, we're okay. About round 10th. So definitely need to improve that. Um, we're good home and away. I can't, I can't really complain. But we do, I don't know. We need to get some more points on this team. No one's a point per game. Tulipal, Valeno, Clements. These guys are all getting it kind of done. We might have some 5 goal, 20 goal scorers. That'd be very interesting. Very good. I like that. Uh, Sandin, he is injured. Uh, Wong, Ramjasing, he's getting points. Shanahan, at least 42 points a game. Or 42 points so far. Lekkonen with 22 is pretty good. Nishushkin, 18. Lindholm. Okay, so well, maybe we need some more out of Nolan Foot. That's for sure. That's 85 overall, man. You got, what, 14 points in 62 games. We need more out of you, please. Um, um, couple goalies. I know we're doing fine for goalies. Norm Quick, he might, he's not doing too good. He's got two shutouts. Vasilevsky has six. Oh, sub two goals against average. But, I mean, they have a solid defense, but still. Uh, 930 save percentages are really, really good. If we check out the rest of the league in goalies, um, min 30 games. Uh, let's see here. Thatcher Demko, I mean 91 overall, but he's got 79 points. Vasa has 91, so I'll keep Vasa for now. Goals against average, Vasa leading, beautiful stuff. Um, how about save percentage? I don't think he's leading in save percentage. Uh, Tristan Jerry, wow, this is a very interesting player. This guy's going to probably jump up to 86, 87, 88 overall. Something crazy. crazy. Uh, Demko, Korpisalo, Vorobiev, the standard what you would expect. Vorobiev still 73 points. Thank goodness for that, but he's still dangerous. you got to watch out for that guy. He does have a good defense in front of him. Um, but, yeah, I think we definitely need to go out and acquire a really good player. That's it's it's exactly what we need to do. If we look, man, I think Nolan Foot is um it's it's tough. I think Nolan Foot is more suited for the third line uh, as opposed I think yeah, okay, maybe that's not why he's not getting as many points, but I think if we can drop, you know, Lekkonen down to the fourth line and we have someone really good here, you know, an 87 something like that. It'll be very, very important. I, I want to do that. I want to get that done. Um, so, boys, I'm going to quickly look for a, you know, not so much a superstar, but a really good player that can slot in and get points. So, I'll, I'll see you guys when that's finished. All right, boys. So, I think I found the player I want. I think I'm going to go for Jeff Skinner. But I'm not sure what I need to give up for him. It's going to probably just have to be draft picks, honestly. The... Wings, our pick, it's going to be a late pick anyways, uh, maybe just a first for Jeff Skinner, perfect, they accept, so now we do have a really good second line talent, um, he is getting I think like 30 or 40 points, so I'm f perfectly fine with that, that's really good in comparison to the rest of our team, so yeah, so far he's got 49 points in 63 games, and he is only 83 overall. It's definitely going to drop off. There's no there's no doubt about that because our team is very stacked. He must have been playing. He was, I think he was playing first or second line minutes in Carolina. But still, he's already the second second on our team. We got another 20 goal score uh, on our team, I guess. So that's really nice. Hopefully he can just do good. Play a couple years for us. What's his contract? Yeah, four years at 3.7 mil. I mean, we can trade them away always if we need to. But let's continue on with the simulation here. Let's get up to the end of the season. And let's just make the playoffs finish strong. Jeffy, I need you. I want to see some of that figure skating ability. You know, get some goals for us. That's what we need to see. That's what I really want to see. Starting with two wins. Okay, we lose to Boston, but that's fine. Another shutout. Two shutouts in a week with one goal against. Nice. Another win against the Sharks. Kings. Boom. Ah, oh, okay. We can't beat the Ducks. But that's okay. Dallas, 3-1 victory. Okay, wow. So Philly. Philly found our number. Ah, oh, they're dangerous. We're probably going to come up against them. Four losses in a row. Okay, thank goodness we pull it back with a victory against the Pens. Crush the Sabres. Shootout loss against the Senators. Can we hit 50 wins? Nice, and we hit 50 wins. Let's hit a couple more. Come on. 53 maybe? Shootout, shootout, shootout loss and another shootout loss to end the season. 
but I'm actually quite happy. 51, 24, and 7 is pretty good. All right, now, so looking at the end of the season here, did we at least win the President's Trophy? I hope so. Ah, uh, no, the Canucks beat us by three points, of course. That's okay, we still put up a very good fight. We were scoring more goals, so that's good. Now we're third in the league. Goals against went up a little bit, but 2.1 is nothing to complain. Uh, PP went up slightly, 18.8. It's a little better. How about uh, PK, 84? One of the best in the league. That's really good to see. Away and home. I mean, it'd be nice if we could be a bit better at home. 23, 13, and 5 isn't bad, but it could definitely be way better. Um, in points, Mantha Tulipov, Valeno, Jeff Skinner. He only scored 10 more points in those, what, 16 or 15 more games. So that's actually not too bad for him. Valeno, Tulipov, uh, Mantha, all doing well. Uh, Clements, just a lot of 50-point scores. That's good to see. Uh, goals, we only had five 20-goal scores. Valeno couldn't get a couple more. Shanahan with 15 goals as a defenseman is amazing. Um, now if we look at goalies, uh, Vasilyevsky played phenomenal. Norm Quick did pick it up, actually. Uh, almost a sub-2. Vasa went up a little bit, but 928 save percentages are really good. And seven shutouts for Vasa. Three for Quick is pretty good as well. Uh, now if we look at goalies for the entire league, uh, we'll do min 40 games. Demko led the league in wins. Uh, save percentage. Yeah, we had just had a big tie with Vorobi of Demko and Vasa. Vasa did have the most shutouts and second best goals against average, just barely losing to Vorobiev. So not a huge problem. Uh, if we go to all skaters now, who led the league in points? Uh, Stammer, okay, fair enough. Tyler Sagan up there, Paddy Laine, uh, Monaghan, McKinnon, McDavid. A lot of low scoring, not, you know, a lot of low scoring. There isn't too much high scoring. Sam Steele there, wow, 79 points for an 83. That's pretty good. Uh, Kucherov was 76 points, interesting. Barkov was 75. Wow, Wolrensky was 74. That's really good for him. Uh, Duran, Timoshov. Okay, interesting, interesting. Was Timoshov drafted by the Leafs? Yes, he was. Wow. This guy's pretty good. 87 overall. Dingman, 70 points. And Mantha, our highest, up there with 70 as well. Boys, in the next episode, we'll get the playoffs done. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye -bye.